guys so today we're gonna be trying a bunch of asian snacks desserts and drinks the reason i wanted to do this video was because i if you watch my last vlog i saw these and they looked really intriguing i have no idea what this is i think we should start the salty first then we go to desserts try some of the drinks in between to be honest i only have two salty snacks okay let's go straight into this one which i was super intrigued by but i have first have to try search what a yellow stripe trevally fish is okay it's a fish i thought it was like a you know those like flat ray fishes i thought it was that and i was like a bit skeptical but fish i'm awful and i got this in a chili flavor what is that silica gel do not eat that's a hazard right there this smells super fishy like i'm like in a fish shop right now this is what it looks like the problem with me is i have a very sensitive stomach like the amount of times i've had food poisoning people let me not even go into the details like i've almost died this is why i'm so scared to go to some foreign countries and even when i went to india like i that's a story for another day but all i can say is my my tummy is very sensitive i'm a bit scared right now but we'll try it this is so chewy guys coming over here like what's this that's very nice let's have another one for sake of good order i feel like hubby's gonna love this it's spicy but it's a nice spicy the taste is really nice the texture is nice this is definitely <clears throat> this is definitely something i would buy again i really like that i really like that i think it's time for a drink i love anything grape flavored so i got this little can i don't know it's just canned grape nectar this is what it looks like like super tiny i'm um, just reading the ingredients though uh water 65 percent. okay not too bad sugar syrup grape powder grape juice citric acid actually do you know what there's like about under 10 ingredients in here that kind of makes me feel a little bit better i was not expecting that oh that's so good so good I keep dropping these it's very annoying just stay there that is very nice i feel like grape juice wouldn't be the right word grape nectar is the word for it because it has that kind of is that like a fur on my mouth there's definitely something on my mouth it has that nectary kind of consistency and like taste it's very sweet but a nice sweet you know when you feel like there's some a hair on your face and like you can't see anything but it feels like something's there the fish for me at least is a 10 out of 10. this i'll probably give it like a strong 8 9 out of 10. i really really like that okay let's try this got these 10 jang sticks these are barbecue flavored fish sheets i don't know they just look really intriguing to be honest seven grams of protein okay i'll take that i'll take that okay it smells very fishy these are so cute look at that it's smelling fishy around here. It's smelling fishy. Mm. These are really soft. I thought this would be like crunchy or something, but these are really soft. It's really hard to buy it. This doesn't really have like a barbecue flavor to it, to be honest. But it's good. Like it, it would make a good snack and it's it's got high protein the more you chew it the more i don't know i don't know if i like it i'd probably give that like a six seven out of ten okay now we're gonna i just grabbed this pokemon thing it's q doll and it's peach flavor sparkling water i thought this was a juice this is but yeah this is definitely pokemon who was your favorite pokemon mine was always pikachu like yeah that's a no from me Ooh. i mean if you, if you like healthy Why is my pinky out like that? It has carbonated water, high fructose corn syrup, apple juice, peach juice, but those are only 0.7 and 0.3%. This is mostly water, by the way, guys. So I think that's why I don't like it. If I'm gonna drink our juice, give me some juice, not flavored water. I thought this was a juice, but yeah, it's sparkling water with a hint of flavor. And to be honest, I'm not a fan of peach flavored water. If it was like strawberry flavored water, maybe I would like, like it more, but yeah, that's probably like, 
a 2 out of 10 for me. I'm just not a fan of that. Okay, we've done our um, savory stuff. We've got some dessert, the viral mango pancakes, snow white cakes. These look very interesting. And then obviously ube fluffy mamon. I love ube, but um, I've never tried this, so we'll see if it's worth it. Let's first try the mango pancakes. I have tried this before, I'm not gonna lie. I think I might need a knife so I can show you guys properly in the inside. But these have literally been everywhere. They're everywhere on TikTok, on YouTube. It's basically, this is what it looks like. It's like a mango pancake, very thin, and it has like cream, cake, and mango in it. Like it's it's really nice. If you're like a mango addict, then I think you'd really like this. But I wanna like really cut it and show you. Look at that. You can really see like the cream and the cake in there and some mango pieces. Okay. It is nice. I feel like my mom would love this. I would say if you do try this, cut it in half and eat from the middle. Don't eat from the side because you wouldn't get like a bite of like everything. It is nice. I don't know like if it's worth like, I think it's just because I'm not, I love fresh mango. like. Give me a fresh mango from a board, like the actual juicy mango. But anything mango flavored, I'm not really a f much of a fan of it. There is, there are some mango pieces in here, but it tastes like the westernized mango. What's really good about it is, is that you can finish the whole thing because it's not really sweet, sweet, but it's really nice. I, I have to give it to it. Like it is nice. It's really nice, fluffy, it's light, and it's very mangoey and creamy. Like there's a lot of uh, whipped cream in there. So I'll probably give it like, because of my just peculiar taste, I'll probably give it like a seven out of 10. I wouldn't like go out my way to, you know, go get this and like crave it or anything like that. But I know some people love this, so. Yeah, that is the viral mango pancake. Okay, now let's try these snow white cakes. These are delicious crushed and baked roasted peanut, sesame and desiccated co coconut cakes. These look so pretty. Look at that. How pretty is that? Let's give it a go. I really don't, I really don't like that peanut butter in there, I think. So let's try and get a bite of that. I'm sorry, I really don't like that. The reason why I don't like that is because it's very crumbly and powdery. As I took that uh, second bite, it had a really like peanutty, why is my nose leaking? It has a very peanutty taste. I really like this. It's ube time. One of my favorite like ube spots in London, if you haven't tried it, is Mama Son's in, in Chinatown. Um, by Leicester Square. If you haven't tried Mamasons, I don't know what you're going for. And get the ice cream ube filled like pancake thingies. Pancakes sealed together and then they cut it open it's got ube ice cream in it. It's so... And it's like powdered sugar. I've done a vlog on it. I'll try and find it and leave it for you guys. Such a good dessert. This is very ube like. It smells very ube. Oh, someone at the door. Look at that. It's super purple. There's a little bit of cream on the top. It feels like really wet on the top. You guys can see it's very squishy and moist. Mm, that is nice. This with a cup of tea. I'm saving this for later. It's very nice. Eat that with a cup of tea and that is good to go. It's, it tastes very ube. It's sweet, but not too sweet. Not a fan of the cream on top, it's just a light whipped cream, but it's very nice. Whilst we're trying drinks, I got this, what is this? I don't know, it just looked very intriguing. Red grape fruit flavor drink. This is what it looks like. Like I said, I love anything grape flavored. Contrary to mango, I hate anything mango flavored. But anyways, let's give this a go. Oh. I don't think I like that. Reason being is because it's like a thick, gloopy drink. It tastes like those aloe vera drinks, but grape flavored. The flavor in the grape isn't that strong, to be honest, but it has like water, coconut water, sugar, concentrated grape juice, which is only 1.7% of it, and has thick enough. <laughs> I think it's the consistency that I don't like. I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, I think this one's a pass for me. I wouldn't even buy it again. I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I can't even rate it because I don't like it. But yeah, this was very nice. Um, oh my God, I forgot. This is frozen. 
I got mango on sticky rice. Mango? Mango on sticky rice is so good. It's one of my, I think it's one of my favorite desserts. And also like, if you've never been to, there's a bloody wasp outside. Um, if you haven't been to Sticky Mango in Waterloo in London, go. They have the best sticky rice dessert. Like every time me and my sister go, we go for that dessert. But even their food is nice, so definitely recommend. Anyways, this is a mango, a Nam Dok Mai mango. Uh, on top of sweet coconut infused sticky rice, drizzled with coconut milk sauce and crispy mung beans. So I have to go make this. Oh my god, I thought these were little mini ones, but it's a whole thing. Okay, so what do we do? It doesn't say to pierce back the film, which scares me. But let's put it in the microwave. Okay, so let's take the sauce out and the mung, the mung beans as well. And put it back in the oven for... Well, the microwave for another minute, and that's it. That was easier than I thought it would be. It smells so nice. Okay, now we have to just sprinkle this coconut cream on top. It's not looking like the picture. And then put these uh, mung beans. Oh. That is a work of art. It looks really, really yummy. It looks so good. It smells beautiful as well. I've always seen this and I, I was a bit skeptical, you know, I didn't know. Like nothing can, oh, the mango. The mango looks lush, you know. Oh. This is my favorite dessert, but I don't know if I like it. I like this version of it because it's nothing like the one I like to eat in, in London and also the one I eat in London is cold and this is hot and I think that's why I don't like it I prefer it cold maybe if I put it in a fridge and eat it let's give it one last try I don't know there's something about it I don't like I'm really disappointed I had high hopes for that I think there's like a salty taste in there somewhere and it's like really setting me off Give me my drink. Speaking of drinks, um, one drink that we always get when we go to the Asian supermarket is this Hatta. I think you can get this in a lot of like sushi restaurants as well. Basically a carbonated drink. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to open this to be honest because it's so hard. Basically, I think it's supposed to imitate a bottle because they have this drawing here and it looks like a baby bottle and it's like a baby bottle. But anyways, you have a glass ball here and you kind of have to like use this and push it down which I most of the time can't do. <laughs> like it breaks my nails. <laughs> I always have to ask Harvey to do this for me. <sighs> it's so hard. I can do it. <sighs> I'm strong. That was a workout. That was so hard. I don't know if this drink is made for kids, but what kind of kid is going to be able to open that, okay? It's basically like a sort of lemonade, but it's different. You know how like you have African Fanta? Because it has that different taste. This is like Asian lemonade. It's a different taste. Okay, we're on to our last two. Here we have, what is this? I think it's candy, rainbow cotton candy. Look at that, that's so cute. Okay, let's give this a go. One thing about me is I love cotton candy. I love cotton candy. I don't know what the flavor of this is. It's got lemon, green apple, lemon, and grape, and strawberry. No wonder I can't really taste anything. Oh, I can get the grape one now, in the purple. And taste the green apple. It just tastes like sugar. But that's really nice. I really like that. It's like nice and fluffy. Cause sometimes you can get like chunks in candy floss. I don't know why, but it's disgusting. Okay, now we're on the last bit. I got these milk lollipops. Oh, so cute. I think they're little cows. This is what it looks like. It's so tiny. It has that milky strawberry smell. Ugh. I really don't like this. It's like a strawberry milk flavoured lollipop, but it's very milky. Ugh. 
Yeah, I'm all right, thanks. <laughs> I think this was a very much a success. This was very nice. You know what, the mango pancakes are quite nice and I really like those fish snacks, which I'm actually gonna go eat right now. These two drinks, um, great. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want a part two of me trying more snacks because there were so many in the store, um, let me know and I can do another one. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a like. Let me know what snack kind of intrigued you. Have you tried the mango pancakes? Because they've literally been everywhere. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for stopping by to watch this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.